all right youtube how's it going welcome back to the channel today guys we are gonna talk about the new festival that's gonna be coming in by 18th of april now regards to the event it's typically just selecting your own um summoning mechanic and then making a deck out of it so we have the, the fusion the synchros and the exes so you just change the group here and then you can pick one of each we'll talk about the loner decks afterwards because the reason why i did not upload the content yesterday is because majority of my decks that i've added for each of the summoning mechanic is already in the loner deck so it was shocking because i did not see the loner deck before even creating the decks so yeah here we are so uh regards to the rewards it's just basically the same old thing crystals uh, sleeves so the zark if you like the zark um some legacy tickets and lastly your um title so that's basically the the gif there i would like to create a deck list that is much cheaper or budget friendly for the people who are gonna join in for the festival but as i've seen the loner decks and the forbidden unlimited list for this event it's really hard now the loner decks in general you can just play it off or if you want to create your own deck uh, these are one of the recommendations that I would like to uh, showcase you guys. So without further ado, let's start off first with our uh, Fusion decks. Okay, so our first Fusion deck we have here is Cyber Dragon. Now Cyber Dragon, you can just buy uh, one copy of the, the structure deck from uh, the store. It just costs around 500 crystals. And the only thing that I have actually like used up my crystals here is just basically the Mega Fleet. Or my, my UR shards, I mean. And other things like that, you'll basically have the staples, Ash, Ash Blossom, um, Colbert Grave, Imperm, stuff like that. The rest are basically in the structure deck. If you want to buy the three copies, you already have like a working deck that you can use for the event. Um, so polys are a necessary thing because I do think that during this event, people are going to use a ton of archetype, archetype decks that are going to be really good or susceptible for Super Poly. That's why we also have targets like the Garura and Mud Dragon. Uh, also, the Starving Venom or a copy of Dragostopelia as one of their uh, good targets for Super Poly. But anyways, uh, if you know how to play this deck, I think it's basically easy. And the probability of going for an OTK, as long as you know uh, what you're doing with this deck, it is like inevitable if you know how to do this deck or combo it off with this deck. So that is Cyber Dragons for you guys, and I think that would be really fun to actually play this deck, of course, being uh, an anime deck and all. So that is Cyber Dragons, let's go towards our second deck. Okay, so for our second deck, we have here another anime deck, which are the Fluffles. I got this list out from Master Dolmeda, which uh, I tweaked a little bit just to adapt with the event type of thing. These monsters alone, alongside the Fluffles, can gain you access to majority of the cards here. Some of the cards from the extra deck are just uh, SR in rarity, so you don't have a problem getting a hold of them. I think the only ones that are you are here is just a copy of Kraken and a copy of, there we go, the Tiger. Uh, the, the Whale is kind of, a, of an SR, so it's easy enough to craft. And majority of the main deck monsters here are SR or lower, so you can just craft them if you like. I like this one here, the Fight for Fusion and the Patchwork are just SRs. Um, the rest, the UR copies are just going to be in the extra deck, which are just limited. You can just create this deck if ever you are interested in another anime deck. So that is the Fluffles for you guys. And let's go towards our third and last fusion deck that you can use for the festival. All right, guys. So here we are with our last fusion deck. And I'm, I'm going to showcase only three decks of each of the summoning mechanic for the festivals. Also, we're going to talk about the lunar decks after the whole thing is going to be uh, showcased. That way, it's easier enough for you guys to actually choose on which deck to actually use for the event. Just to have fun and all. But anyways, Fusion deck. Despia is our last deck here. Uh, this is typically an old version for the Despia with a little bit of a tweak with the uh, Cartesias and the copy of Quim. My goal for this deck is just to burn. So that's why Masquerade is on three copies here. Now, I do think that that would be so much relevant if ever people are just going to combo it off since Maxi is banned during, during this event. And majority of the um, cards are going to be like archetype type of things. So I think this would be really good if you are going to summon three copies of Masquerade during the turn. But yeah, that's on me. If you want to play this one out, I mean, it's really fun just to burn your opponent just by activating their cards. So yeah. So that is our last deck for the fusion uh, summoning. Let's go towards our synchro decks. 
Okay, so our first deck for the Synchros is we have here the Goatees. Goatees are basically banishing cards and then uh, activating their effects uh, if ever they are banished, of course. And their boss monster is typically like increase the attack of uh, this monster by 500 for each banished monster. So this is really cool though. Yeah, majority of the, ga or the gameplay for this deck is just banishing cards from your opponent's side and then summoning your own from the banished pile as well. So it's really fun. I mean, although the shifter is, is banned for this event, but it's I think that's actually good because I think that's one of the like more win type of card. Uh, but anyways, that's go these guys. Let's go towards our second synchro deck. Okay, so here we are with our second synchro deck, and that is the virtual world. Now, virtual world was strong way back at, at the earlier days of Mastral, and I think for me now for this event. This is still a really strong deck, of course, being three elves for each of the virtual world monsters. For the extra deck, I think the only important one here is typically the copy of Shen Shen, if you don't have a copy of it. Um, the Juju is typically like uh, an option if you, whether or not you have a copy of this. Majority of the cards that are level 6 uh, secret monsters is, is basically SR, so you can just craft them. And some level 9s are rares and uh, commons, I think. There, I think there's a common here. No, I think there's no common, just a rare and SR. But other, other than that, um, you can choose to run the Zulkan if you like, or if you have a copy, um, it's really up to you. The deck works a lot on level level six synchros and level nine synchros. So yeah, that's still pretty good. And of course, it takes a little bit of brain power to have this deck work if you uh, don't know how to play with this deck, of course. But it is fun. It is really fun. Just summoning a ton of monsters to the field, uh, especially if Maxi is um, banned for this event. So that is Virtual Worlds. Let's go towards our third and last deck for the Synchros. Okay, so for our third and last deck, we have here an Emancipator and Super Heavy Samurais. Now, in my previous version, I ran a copy of Seca Light with again for uh, Emancipators. But as I've played by far, there are some problems with the deck of course because Sega Slide doesn't allow you to use spell and drop cards during the turn you activate it so basically your super heavy engine is quite dead if you actually use that but if you're just running a pure Emancipator deck that would be somewhat good of course um, just as long as you just have the Sega Slide as your only spell cards for the deck but regardless with the help of the super heavies and uh, the, the Emancipators you can go a long way. A, lot, a ton of Synchro Summoning, especially if you have the, the Seeker, Analyzer, and Researcher on the field that keeps on excavating Rock Monsters to the field. And then you can use them for another Synchro Summon. Barkin is another good card as well to go up against. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are going to be stun decks with this event, of course. So yeah, Barkin is one of those things that can stop them uh, on their tracks. Um, I think that's basically it. We don't really uh, run Spill and Chop cards, like I said, because of the Super Heavy engine oh yeah so block dragon is banned like forever so gaia plate the earth giant is like another block dragon but with a weaker effect but it is still a level 8 monster and also a rock monster of course a father for a level 8 you can go into a level 10 synchro monster if you have level 2s like a seeker and a copy of researcher so that's pretty fine or that's pretty good i think that's basically it for the synchro summons or the synchro decks Let's go towards our last uh, summoning mechanic, which is the XZ. Okay, so our first deck for the XZ deck is the Galaxy Eyes. Galaxy Eyes has been really fun to play with. Although a minor inconvenience with this deck is your extra deck works with a ton of URs. Those rank 8 monsters are URs. But if you have already the copies, I mean, this is still a really fun deck to actually play during the event. But if not, uh, I don't think there's another budget-friendly composition for this deck, of course, for the XZs. But regardless, if you have the copies, might as well gonna use it. It's really fun, of course, going for an OTK most of the time if you're going second. That's Galaxy Eyes for you guys. Let's go towards our second deck. Okay, so for our second deck for the XZs, we have Generators. Uh, the, the most significant ex extra deck monsters that you basically need is the two copies of your Boss of Eternity and the copies of your Boss of Shadows. Two copies of each. The rest are typically like choices that you can just um, use for the deck. Um, your main deck is just composed of SRs or lower, so I think that's really fine. Uh, except for the copy of the one copy of Mardell, which is the only UR for your main deck. The rest are just basically SR or normal, so it's easy enough to craft or to attain. 
uh, yeah, it's really fun for this deck, of course, as long as you have the, the field spell on play. And I think there's another version where you can run Runix for this. Um, but the only problem there for the event is if you're going to use this as an exit deck, then you can spell summon your Runic Fusion Monsters to the field. So that is Generators for you guys. Let's go towards our third and last deck for the Exes. Okay, so for our third and last deck, we have the Zodiacs. The Zodiacs are pretty good because uh, majority or the composition of their deck mostly is hand traps. So that's pretty good. The only downside for that is you sometimes draw into more hand traps than your Zodiac monsters. So that's really bad. But I think you just need one copy of it, then go into multiple um, rank monsters for your Zodiac deck. Um, you can run with one copy of Dryden. Your Zodiac monsters can just um, bounce that back or special summon that back to the field with the help of their other Zodiac cards. Um, we are also running the Armored XZ package here, going to a copy of where's the Torpedo and then going for a Fortress and then going for a copy of Dark Knight Lancer. But anyways, uh, there are a ton of XZ Synchros and Fusion decks out there that I haven't actually mentioned, but these are some of the th a few or three cards or three decks that you can use for the event, of course. That's everything else for the XZ Synchro and Fusion. Let's talk about the loner decks for each of the summoning mechanics. Okay, so for our first um, loner deck for the XZ, we have here Battling Boxer. So I, I did not see this before. I should have paid attention more of the or more in the loner decks because you don't blame me because majority or most of the time in the previous festivals, their loner decks are not really that good. So now it's kind of good because you can play out the whole archetype with, of course, some good supports like Infinite Impermanence and Ash Blossoms. Uh, before, I think there were no, nothing like that or whatsoever, but this is kind of good though, just to have a, a quick feel for the deck. So that's really good, Battling Boxer. Then you have another Testina. So I, when I saw this, I was like, oh, another good deck for an OTK. And trust me, this guard, this right here, can go for 4k and then directly damage your life points, even if your opponent has a monster in the field. That, of course, if you have the right cards on hand or attached to it. So this is really a good deck if you want to like flip your bonus cards face down. Um, next up, we have the Evil Soar and Evil Tile deck. I did a showcase with this before. It's kind of like a mid-range rogue deck, but it's fun to play because uh, you just need one monster on the field that it can just go into a copy of um dolka or lagia and then lastly a copy of lars during your opponent's turn that is evil star and evil tile and those are the xz monsters for the loner deck so really fun i would like to try this one out during the event or even a cup or even Pistinas. so that is xz's let's go towards our synchros all right so for our synchro loner decks we have first our resonators uh, so i was supposed to showcase the resonators before but when I saw the loner deck, I think that would be redundant enough. If ever I'm going to showcase the loner deck and then showcase my own version for it. So I yeah, might as well going to change the whole thing, of course. This is, or this list is kind of good as well. I mean, you have all the cards that you'll need. And this one is an instant synchro summon. It's kind of like um, Itud of the branded. Uh, it's kind of fun. Yes, sir. -y. That's basically it. Then we have next is Fable. Now, I'm not really like... Uh, into the whole Fabled, or I haven't really touched this deck. But yeah, that's Fabled for you guys. If you ever if ever you know how to play this deck, then go for it. And lastly, the new or Sartic deck. So, uh, the Polar Star and a copy of Ultimate Bright Knight or Sartron Alpha is the new cards or the new supports for those or Sartic deck. This is a unique summoning mechanic, of course, but instead of like adding um, levels to one monster for a single summon, this actually deducts levels. So you have like a level 8 monster, then minus a level 7, you can go into a copy of Polar, Polar Star or even a copy of Polari. So that's a really good mechanic there for a new Synchro Summon. If you're interested in this one here, I think this is still like a, a good rogue deck as well. Uh, so that's our starting. And with that, let's go towards our last summoning mechanic, which is the Fusion. Okay, so here we are with the three decks for the Fusion or the three loner decks for the Fusion. Start off, we have your du dual avatar. Like Fabled, I haven't touched this deck as well. I haven't seen the gameplays with this deck. Also, cool archetype. It's like fighting type of thing. Uh, but yeah, if you're if you know how to play this deck, go for it. 
But yeah, that's dual avatar. Then we have here Chimeras. Like Resonators, I did place this one in the showcase before. This is a good version because they also have the copy of Nightmare Magician, which is a really good new illusion monster. Although the effects it works only during the battle phase, but it's still really cool though. The effects is nice. And then the Fusion Armament, really cool because you can summon the copy of Chimera the Mythical Beast on the field. Um, but so far, this is a bad card at the moment. Maybe this will be good when Flame Swordsmen are going to be coming in. But as of now, this is still a really strong deck and they're even using the, the patchwork um, package here. So the Edge of Chain, the patchwork, and then the two copies of Polarization, which is not that bad. And then three copies of Guardian Chimera. Holy crap. So that's, that's really cool. Um, that's Chimera's for you guys. Let's go towards our last fusion deck or fusion loner deck, which is Dark Worlds. When I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I forgot Dark Lords that they have a new fusion monster, which is the Colorless. This is a really cool deck of all. Uh, without the dangers, I do think that I haven't seen like any version of Dark Worlds without the dangers. But I would really like to try this one out during the event. This, I garnered like 6,000 attack with one of my game. Uh, just by summoning this to the field. But you need to have like uh, the Overlord Dark World. The, this one here was that one. You need to have the original Rainbow. There you go. This one here. Regardless, those are the loner decks. And those are the three decks for each of the summoning types that you can use for the event. Tell me your thoughts on the loaner decks and tell me your thoughts on the showcase. Like any other deck list will be posted down in the comment section below. It is always pinned for you guys to check out. And that's it for today. Keep safe, good luck. If you like this kind of content, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.